Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a guide to the fish farming mod or production facility by VX Mapping. This is 16.64 megabytes to download for all platforms. So we're gonna take a look at this today and kind of explain how to use it and talk about if it's actually worth doing. Um, so first off, this thing does show a required mod of production for empty pallets and barrels by Zottlezoct, so make sure you guys have that installed. And there's another mod you're actually kind of by proxy are required to install as well, and I'll get to that um, here in a second, but we'll talk about the required mods here later. So what is fish farming? Um, this is a production chain, works like any other production chain. If you don't know how production chains work, um, we're gonna do a brief overview of it here, but I do have some other videos that talk a little bit more detailed about it. If you're new to production chains, go watch those first, but we're just gonna quickly do an overview here. So anyhow, this is what you're gonna produce. This adds this product to the game here, some uh, fish pallets here. So we have fishes here, 1,000 liters each for all of these guys right here, which if we go into the um, store menu, you can sell those, if we go down here. Fishes, you can sell fishes. Well, I don't have a sell point here, but I should be able to get up to 2592 for them. So we'll take a look at that as we get going through. Um, but yeah, they work like any other production chain. So you're gonna put inputs in and get outputs out. And the output is gonna be the fishes in this case. So uh, if we take a look at the actual production menu for fish, you need corn, which you can grow by how you grow corn. Mineral feed, which you can buy if you go into the store um, down to pallets. Maybe, there we go. Uh, mineral feed right there so you can buy that and put it in there are other ways to get it I'm just going to cover the very basic and simple way to get it which is that um, then in addition to that you'd also need empty pallets which is why you need that required mod production for empty pallets and barrels so you need that installed however if we go down here to now pallet and barrel production to make these pallets you are going to need beams, which are not a base game product. So you're also gonna need the sawmill by Zottlezoct as well. So that's kind of the additional required mod just by proxy there. So essentially the pallets mod or the pallet and productions mod will make barrels or pallets for you. As you can see and here will make barrels or pallets. You don't have to make any barrels for this mod in particular to work, um, the fish farm that is, uh, but you do need to make pallets or you need to somehow get a hold of pallets, which this is really the only way to do it. There is a mod that allows you to purchase um, input materials over here, which is another way around this if you want to do that. Um, but again, it's going to cost you money to do that. Uh, but here you go, pallets. So we got to make pallets. We need beams and wood. So how do we make beams? We need to place the sawmill down, put trees in, then we get beams out in addition to some other stuff. But that's how you're going to get the beams which are required over here. So first off, let's talk about how to place all these production facilities as we're going through here. So if we go into the build menu, hit production, go down to the very end, we have the fish farming mod, which this thing is massive, by the way. So just be aware of that. This thing is absolutely huge. And look how big we are down there compared to it. And then you're also going to need the production for empty pallets, which is over here, and the sawmill by Zottlezoct over here to make your beams if you're gonna do all that there. Um, so yeah, just be aware of that. It's gonna be a little bit of work for you can make fish if you're trying to do it kind of the base game way um, without buying anything additional or anything like that or any other mods. But anyhow, how do we use the fish farm specifically? So we gotta get those three inputs in. We already know what those three inputs are, corn, mineral feed, and empty pallets. So we gotta get those in here. So how do we do that? Well. Right here is we're going to be able to put um, your, essentially your, so right here is where you're going to be able to put your corn in. So you're going to put your corn in over there. And then over here is where you're going to put in your palleted material. So your empty pallets and your mineral feed can go in over here. Um, so that's where those things are going to go in separately. Uh, it might actually let you dump the mineral feed in there. We can take a look at that here in a second. But here's your wrench. So if you wanted to access the, the menu directly, you can do that. And then right here, this little area along here is where your pallets are going to spawn out. You can see the little checkered here. This is where your pallets of fish are going to spawn out. Now, again, as always, over here, there's three options for the outputs. These are going to show you what your inputs are. Um, this is your how many cycles per month. So this is the recipe. This is one cycle. So it's going to do this. Um, this many times in a month. So if you have it set to one day months, like I have it set, it's gonna do this 576 times a day. If you have this set to two day months, well, it's gonna do that 576 cycles over the course of the two days that are in that month. So that's how it's gonna work. It's gonna input 200 liters of corn, 100 liters of mineral feed, 50 liters of empty pallets to give you 100 liters of fish. That's how that's gonna work. This is gonna show you what you have in terms of incoming materials. Down here is gonna show you how many fish you have in storage here. And then obviously if it's set to storing, as soon as it gets a full pallet and there's space out here, it's gonna spawn pull pallets out. You can change that down here to selling if you want it to directly sell for a, again, it's gonna it's gonna take a cut of that for you. So it's I wouldn't recommend doing this. Um, or distributing, which it would move it further along to the next production chain. As of right now, I don't know if there's a affiliated production chain that's gonna allow you to uh, move it further along. So 
right now that's probably not really the way you'd want to go it unless you don't want any pallets to spawn you just want it to sit inside the building so storing is probably gonna be your best bet now you also need to come over here click on this side and then you need to hit activate always oh, it's not gonna be running now it's not gonna run right now it's gonna go red because there's no materials inside of it uh, materials missing there but that's how you're gonna want to activate it um, to actually get it to uh, start running for you so that is how the production chain itself is going to work now we need to talk about how to make pallets real quick just so you guys know how to do that so if we go back into our, our menu here uh, let's actually work back to beams because we need beams first so again you're just going to cut down trees and enter them into the sawmill which we're just going to run over to real quick um, you're going to put them in here and then again you can access it from here and then you're going to activate that and do all your good stuff so again you're going to want to go in here and activate that to make the beams and then as you get beams out you can sell this stuff or do whatever you want to do with the bark mulch and the extra wood chips bark mulch are an additional product that are added in because of the sawmill mod and then you're going to take those beams and put them into this facility um, and you're going to start getting your pallets out so this is where you're going to put your beams in over here and then you're gonna be able to access it through here and that's gonna start making your pallets. So it's gonna take beams and it also does take uh, planks. So you're still gonna to need to make planks um, from the factory over here, but that's a base game material, um, or a base game production material, I should say. So planks and pallets to get your actual, or excuse me, planks and beams to get your actual pallets out. And then again, you wanna activate that once you get the materials in there. And then finally, you'll be able to put them over here to get your fish going and then you get going from there. Um, so yeah, that is how all that is going to work to get you to that point. Now let's talk about the fish itself and if they're actually worth doing. So I did do some testing. All of this applies to uh, normal difficulty mode. So you're going to see something come up on your screen right now. So this says at the top, using the Steam price sheet, which I'll have linked down below, and the top store prices. Um, and I, I have the list of how I'm calculating my prices uh, down below as well. So basically what's going on here, that Steam price sheet shows you the average price or what they basically the, the best price you're gonna be able to get um, from these products is. Um, I used the average price on there because that's where like it would be a high point in the year to sell, not necessarily the highest possible price. Um, so just be aware of that you could potentially get um, even more of an input cost is what that means not more of an output cost but more of an input cost so this is a conservative input cost i should say um, and this is again an economic difficulty normal so this isn't in hard or easy mode um, i haven't tested those those should be very similar just more amplified one way or the other um, if that makes sense so for fish the input so and what this means for input is that means if you took that corn mineral feed and pallets and you either well i guess we'll take mineral feed out of there so what that's saying is if you take the corn that you grew to put into this production chain and the pallets you manufactured to put into this production chain um, if it's saying that that is how much it would you would get if you sold those to the store and that's how much it would also cost in addition to buy that extra mineral feed so that's the cost basically if you were to basically, instead of selling them, you're putting them into your input. Hopefully that all makes sense. It'll make a little bit more sense here as we continue on. Um, the output, that's how much you're gonna get. Uh, and this is per cycle. This amount here is per cycle. This is how much you're gonna get per cycle um, in terms of selling your fish for the best price. So down below, you can see the prices used to calculate $1,000 per 1,050 liters of mineral feed. That's how much the pallets are in the store. Corn, 683 per 1,000 liters. That's how much you would be able to sell them. That's based off of the steam price sheet. Pallets, um, you can sell them for $36.72 at a good price. Um, that's the top store sell price. And then fish, you could sell at $25.92. So look at that up there. The profit per cycle is negative $156. You're losing a lot of money if you're doing this production chain and you're going through a lot of extra work. You're actually way better off if you just sold the corn and the pallets and never bought any mineral feed to put into this thing. Um, at least based on my calculations there, you're not gonna make any money doing this. Um, you're actually going to lose a lot if you want to do it this way compared to now again yeah you could still make money if you really wanted to make fish you can still make money because the only thing you technically have to buy is the mineral feed as long as you're chopping trees down and you're growing the corn yourself your um, actual costs are going to be far less than that um, to put input but again you're better off is what i'm saying here you're better off just selling your pallets or your corn um, instead of putting them through into this um, production chain here to get fish out. So basically your profit per month is negative almost $90,000. That's how much you're losing. And that's calculated based on how many cycles. So this cycle is gonna happen 576 times. So 576 times negative 156 is negative 89,994.24. So you're not gonna do great if you use this. Um, my opinion would be probably to not recommend to use this um, production chain if you're trying to make money or trying to do well in terms of that. Uh, so just be aware of that, but yeah. Um, it might just need some modifications. Honestly, um, all you'd have to do to make this a profitable production chain is double the output. 
if you were getting 200 liters of fish instead of 100 liters of fish, this thing would um, now be very profitable for you um, instead of not so profitable. So it just needs a little bit of a modification, I think, to actually make it more worth doing. So um, that's just my two cents on it. I hope you guys found this useful or helpful in some way. But if you did, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cup channel and turn your notification bell so you don't make any or so you don't miss any future videos that I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.